Hello Taurus, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly reading here for the 28th of October to the 3rd of November. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I grow daily. Sometimes I'm blown out and get like 100 subscribes overnight, which is <laughs> huge. It took me so long to get to 100. Um, so I'm pretty stoked by this journey. Um, I think I'm over 3,500 now and... I never thought I'd get that high, so I'm very, very humbled by this experience. If you haven't subscribed yet, please come on board. We'd love to have you. Everybody's enjoying the journey with me, which is so good. Um, if my readings don't resonate with you, however, you have one of two choices. You can either move on to another reader, or you can go and check out the other aspects of your birth chart. And if you're unsure how to do that, you can go on Cafe Astrology and do up a birth chart there. You do need to have some details like the time you were born and the place you were born in. But once you've got those, you'll get all of your aspects, all of where the planetary alignments were when you were born. Okay, cards I'm using are the Thelema Tarot, which is a beautiful deck. And I know people are commenting on it all the time. Um, this particular... Um, card maker, illustrator, um, has done another couple of decks as well, but this was the first of the three. I can't remember the other names of them. Arcadia, perhaps, something like that. But anyway, very, very beautiful pictures, very ethereal. Okay, Taurus, ready for your reading. Okay. All right, nice. So for the next week, you have the High Priestess as your general energies. Now, I love the High Priestess. She is the person, she is the holder of secrets. Um, she is the, she is your intuition. She is that part of you that knows, the inner knowing. Um, it sometimes it is about not talking about this because she does, a lot comes from her intuition. She's not a, a person who talks about it a lot. She feels things out. So very much an energy for you in the next week to understand how intuition has a part in your journey and how you need to look inside you to find that intuition. So many people live in their heads and don't aspect that part of themselves that is really, really important to their journey. So maybe a, a chance for you to have a bit of an awakening here and perhaps a bit of realisation that you're... A bit of realisation because you start paying attention to your intuition. Okay, first card out is the Page of Pentacles. Now, you could be dealing with a an earth sign, another earth sign, or you could be making an offer yourself, but this is the card of Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. So you could be dealing with one of those people, but either someone's making you an offer or you're making an offer to someone else. Now, I have to say, not a very big offer at this point. It is a stable, it's a good offer. But it is very small. It's sort of very tentative. Um, so it could be that you found someone and you want to make a little bit of an offer here. Sometimes people can see this as an apology or a gift. Um, I always see the swords more as the apology. And I always see this more as something um, either financial or to do with study, which, uh, you know, money things. Um, if it's not money, it's about the real things in life. Maybe you're asking someone or trying to see if somebody wants to move in with you, um, whether someone's interested in having something longer term, but it's sort of that sort of tentative offer. Okay, then we have the Seven of Wands. Now, the Seven of Wands is a card where you look like you're becoming quite defensive or you're fighting off someone. Um, it could be that somebody's making an offer to you and you're not interested, Um Maybe you are looking at your intuition at this time and realising perhaps there are things here that are hidden that you're not sure about. So maybe you're interested. Maybe somebody's offered you something. You're interested, but you're feeling like you're missing something here. Okay, and then we have the Ten of Swords. Now you're coming to the end of a cycle here. Um, this is often a card of betrayal, but it's definitely ending a cycle. Um... I wonder if you weren't offered, made this offer in the past and you were not able to see the good in this offer, you were defensive about it, maybe you pushed this person away for whatever reason. But I feel like with this card and the first card of intuition that somehow or another you're starting to understand something that you haven't understood before because you're hurting here. 
this is this is a lot of pain and when I look at these cards here I feel like you've pushed something away or you've refused something and now you've realized you've got into your intuition had a little bit of an enlightenment and realized what you've pushed away very interesting okay so then we have the nine of swords holy dooly Taurus what are you doing to yourself this is causing you sleepless nights you want to make an apology here to someone you've had some sort of defensive behavior and it's actually ended up hurting you and somehow or another you've gone deep inside to realize this now you are only hurting yourself by doing what you've done the Ten of Swords and Nine of Swords next to each other says to me you're going through a hell of a time at the moment trying to understand why you did this, why it happened and it's all because you didn't, didn't access that intuition. You've become very defensive and you've almost wanted to fight over this and you haven't really felt out, you haven't really got your feelings. Okay, and then we have the Four of Cups. So yes, definitely, you knocked something back. You pushed something away that was really good for you. Okay, you've not trusted your intuition here. You've become defensive and you've denied something that was right for you. And now you've sort of started to access your intuition and now you're realising what you've knocked back. The Four of Cups shows a person with three cups in front of them and one cup to the side. Someone's offered them this love, this gift, and they don't want it. Now, often this book's about the card of boredom. Somebody's been offered something and they've knocked it back and now they're regretting it big time. Okay, the card of temperance comes out next. So now what you need to do before you go any further, Taurus, you need to go back and you need to access that intuition and you need to work on balancing yourself because now you're questioning a lot of stuff that you don't need to question. With the Ten of Swords and Nine of Swords here, I mean, yes, you're finishing out a cycle. This has been a big lesson for you here, a big lesson. But... You've had to learn this lesson because you've never been inside and felt your feelings before. You've always felt your feelings in your head, not in your intuition, not in your gut. And it's really funny, isn't it? Because when we get hurt, the first place that hurts is our gut. You feel that feeling of that hole in the middle of you that you can't fill up when you're hurt. That's where your feelings are. Very interesting. Okay, because what was offered on what was on offer was the Ten of Cups. So what was on offer was love, support, kindness. Something was beautiful and you knocked it back or you didn't accept it. I have no idea why you were too busy thinking it out. You were too busy protecting yourself. You weren't loving someone else. You were putting all these boundaries up around yourself. And now maybe this isn't an offer of an apology Maybe you do need to go back and apologise for someone for the hurt you've caused yourself. You haven't caused the other person any hurt at all. You've hurt yourself here. And there's like a lot of work to be done now because you have to bring yourself back into balance now. But you've finished off a cycle. So what I can say to you is what hurt you've caused yourself is about to end. That's really sad, yes, because you have another opportunity at love here. So you have another opportunity coming to you here. Now this could be the same person, I don't know. It isn't really clear to me. Um, but definitely something coming in here that's giving you another opportunity to have love in your life. And a brand new start. Very nice. So you haven't completely messed it up here. You've just caused yourself a lot of hurt and pain that you didn't need to. Something was being offered to you that was genuine and beautiful and you were so busy pushing it away that you didn't realise how good it was. And now you have not, you've got to start all over again. So, okay, that's beautiful. Now that's a really nice ending here. So for some of you here, I feel like you've been in some sort of karmic relationship here. You've had some sort of karmic relationship shown to you 
for you to understand that in order to love someone, you have to feel it, not think about it. There's this real feeling here that you've become defensive instead of giving, and now you owe someone an apology. You want to put things right. You have to put things right. There's, there's this balance needed here to bring in this bring in something again I don't think this is the same person I think you were being prepared for this person I feel like somehow or another the universe has given you this lesson for you to learn how to love because you may have think you've been loving before but you've been thinking about your feelings not feeling them and that takes a big awakening and I can see in the nine and ten of swords here that's exactly what you've done Taurus Beautiful little journey there. Pain, suffering, but really good outcome there. Beautiful. Okay, I'll get you an oracle card. Oh, how beautiful. You have the card of resurrection. That's very apt. It says on there, reprise, recovery and come back. Beautiful. So I'm going to read it to you. 44. Because I'm still reading from the book. I really do need to get to know these guys better. Okay, so the blessing here is this change can be made and swiftly. Ask for assistance and it will be yours. Let go now and move swiftly through the transition. So I really feel um, this is beautiful working with the card. It's time to make things happen for yourself. It's time to actively explore what you have always denied yourself the chance to do. For there is a path clearing before you, but it requires an enormous amount of determination on your behalf. You must remake yourself. Look within and see what has less than satisfied you and know that something you thought was over, done with and decided is truly about to surprise you. You've learned. Big lesson. Big lesson, Taurus. Thanks for watching.